Game of the Week. We're down to the final four weeks of the regular season, and district competition is getting intense. This week's Game of the Week features district rivals Boyne Beach and Suncoast. I'm here at Boyne Beach High, where the unbeaten Tigers are getting ready to play the Chargers. Let's start by throwing it to Jody. I'm here at Suncoast High School where the Chargers host district rival Boynton Beach on Friday. Let's talk to Suncoast coach Jimmy Clark to see how they plan on stopping the offensive-minded Tigers. Coach, you've got Boynton Beach coming in on Friday. They've got a high-powered offense. How do you plan to slow it down? Well, uh, we know Boynton's very, very good this year, obviously, and um, I don't think you can really slow them down. I think you've got to keep pace with them. We have moved to a little bit of a new defense okay. um, in the past couple weeks, which has allowed us to put um, all of our, you know, as much speed as we can on the field and move a little bit more, and we think that'll help. I have Boyne Beach coach Rick Swain with me. Coach, you're off to an undefeated start. What makes this team so special? Well, I think the balance that we have, um, we've got pretty good players in almost every position. Coach, everyone knows about Lamar's athleticism, but talk about how he's improved as a passer uh, this season. Well, I think this summer uh, he really worked on his accuracy. And, uh, you know, we don't <laughs> – it's funny, we haven't had to throw the ball a whole lot. Uh, but, you know, in one game we came out and decided, well, we're going to throw a lot in the first half just to see how well he did. And he was – you know, he was 9 for 10 in the first half, which really pleased us to make us know, uh, you know, that we can count on him. Thanks, Coach. Jody, introduce this week's skills challenge. For this week's skills challenge, we're going to focus on each team's sack specialist. A defensive end from each team will participate in an old-fashioned sack race. The course is 10 yards long and timed. The defensive end who finishes the race in the fastest time wins the challenge. I'm here with Suncoast defensive end Gabe Hyman. Gabe, have you ever participated in a sack race before? Uh, no, I have not. Never? Never. Um, what kind of techniques or skill do you think is required to actually be able to jump and hop and do whatever is needed? Uh, probably just go as fast as you can without losing your balance. Representing Boyne Beach is Quentin Welcher. Quentin, I see you're taking this kind of seriously, preparing for this challenge on the bike. How do you think this will help you? I think it'll help with my explosion and my leg power. How, how confident are you going into it that you can beat the representative from Suncoast? I'm very confident. I think I'm going to win. Thanks, Quinn. All right, Quinn, you won the challenge. Congratulations. I know we've been chased inside by the rain, but show us your happy dance. <laughs> so you won by one one hundredth of a second. Are you surprised that it was that close? Or? Yeah, I'm very surprised. That's crazy. All right, let's pick some week eight games. For my game of the week pick, I like Boyne Beach to stay undefeated with a 49 to 13 win over Suncoast. What do you think, Jody? I like Boynton Beach to extend its unbeaten streak to eight games with a 54 to 13 win over Suncoast. For my other two picks, I have Wellington beating Seminole Ridge 34 to 24 in a key district match, and I have Palm Beach Gardens beating Jupiter 30 to 6. How about you, Anthony? For my other two picks, I like West Boca to beat Atlantic 28 to 14, and Palm Beach Central to earn a big district win over John I. Leonard 31 to 21. Take it away, Jody. That's it for this week's game of the week. Join us next week when we focus on the important district matchup between Dwyer and Atlantic. For even more coverage, go to pbgametime.com, find us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to use hashtag pbgametime. See you later, everybody. So representing Boynton Beach will be Quentin Welch. How do you think this is going to help you uh, get prepared? Are you Quentin? <laughs>